Welcome to Tech Tools for Test Success, your video tutorial guide to mastering every trick and technique in taking an online test. This is the fifth tutorial in our series, High School Math Tools. What are we doing? This tutorial will help us learn how to use the tools necessary to succeeding on the high school math test. As we work, feel free to explore the online tools used in the video. The tutorial I will use offers practice items to exercise each tool. Pause the playback whenever you want to apply any of the tools I discuss. Remember that this only works if you do. Begin by signing into park.pearson.com. This site holds the tutorial software we will use to master today's tools. When you log into park.pearson.com, you'll find yourself on this page. Let's go to Test Preparation and click on Tutorials. Once we're in this window, we can scroll down to Online Student Tutorials High School. Click on the drop-down menu and select Math Computer-Based Assessment Tutorial. And here we are. This is the test nav simulation for math high school tests. Let's start test now and start section. This tutorial offers training in a number of tools. However, many of those tools were covered in tutorial number four, general math tools. We will only be using this tutorial for math tools specific to high school math tests. So, let's move forward to item 14 to start. We can do that easily by moving to the review, scrolling down to question 14, and clicking view. Let's talk first about hotspot items. Each test may have hotspot items. Hotspot items require selecting an image or a portion of an image. The parts of the image that can be selected will be light blue when they are not selected. When selected, the parts of the image will turn blue. So, this is fairly simple. The blue in this window indicates that you can select on something to demonstrate your answer. So, select the point on the number line located at negative 3 fourths. The question is answered. That is all you need to do. And if you review, you'll notice that in the review screen it will show as answered. Moving ahead to item 16, you can see how this can be done by simply clicking on regions of the graph. Click on the region of the graph again to turn off the selection if you have incorrectly selected an item. Hotspite items are relatively simple and can be mastered in no time. Let's move on to our next high school math tool. Move forward to number 23. And let's take a look at bar graph and histogram items. Each test may have bar graph items. Bar graph items require extending the bar value to the correct place. To extend the bar in the graph, click and hold on the bar. While dragging the bar to its desired length, a comment box will indicate the bar's name and length. Drag the bar to the height or length, then release. It's fairly simple. Let's take a look at this table. We have color of dogs and number of dogs in columns left and right. For mixed dogs, we have nine. We can click and drag to nine. You'll notice a window pops up as I'm dragging, showing me exactly where I am dragging the bar. I have answered the item. Feel free to practice in this item here. Click and drag up and down and notice that in this bar graph the bars overlap slightly. The function is the same. Once you have finished experimenting with that tool, let's move ahead. On item 26, we will see function graph items. Each test may have function graph items. 
function graph items require choosing a function on the left hand side of the grid. The function will appear on the grid with points available to manipulate to the correct position or location. Select a graph button next to the grid. Two points in the equation line will automatically appear. Here you can adjust the line as needed. The vertex point will automatically appear coordinate 0, 0. The vertex can be moved, however, it will stay as the vertex in the equation. Let's take a look. Clicking on the quadratic button will pull up a quadratic graph. I can move the points as I wish to adjust the graph however I desire. Clicking on a logarithmic graph will do the same thing. I can, I, I can adjust the points as desired. A simple linear graph works in the exact same fashion. Try this out. Let's move on to the next tool. Moving on to slide 28 will take us to using interactive number line items. Each test may have interactive number line items. These items require choosing rays or segments to plot on a number line. The solution set indicators of rays and segments will be available below the number line. Once the ray or segment is selected, it will appear on the number line, and you can simply move the endpoints to the appropriate position. So if I click on a button here, this will appear on the number line. I can move the point as I desire, or I can remove. Clicking this will help me adjust this line segment, or I can remove. Clicking here will help me adjust the ray or I can remove. Moving to the next slide, actually moving to slide 30, will give you the opportunity to practice. Feel free to do so. Let's move now to the next item and last. Solution set graphing items. Each test may have solution set graphing items. These items require choosing a dashed or solid line and shading one or more areas created by the two lines in order to indicate a solution set for two inequalities. The line and solution set buttons are available to the left of the grid. So, if you select on a line button, you can create the first line. Once I select on the second line button, I can create the second line. Once I click on Solution Set, I can shade the area for the solution. Clicking on a shaded area will turn off the shading. Notice that if I'm selected on Solution Set, I cannot alter the line. If I'm selected on Line B, I can alter the line, but only Line B. So if you need to manipulate Line A, make sure that you're clicking on Line A, and you'll see the triangle indicator. Clicking on Solution Set will take you back to the shading function. Practice this with the next item in the series. Once you are finished practicing, you have practiced all of the tools necessary for succeeding on the high school math test. And of course, now that you've done that, you have prepared for success. Good luck.